What's up guys? So today this video is about eyelashes. So this is something I struggled with a lot in 2018 and now that I have finally gotten everything back under control, I wanted to make a video um, just showing what worked for me in case any of you guys are going through this as well um, or if you just want to grow your eyelashes longer, stronger, thicker, fuller, all of that, then this video is for you. So to give you a little background on my situation, last year my eyelashes just started acting crazy out of nowhere. They were falling out to the point that I had huge gaps missing, um, the ones that I did have remaining were pretty much just growing straight down, they were breaking off, they were really, really thin and weird looking. They wouldn't hold a curl and putting mascara on them just made them look even worse honestly because then you notice the difference between what was there and what wasn't there and um, yeah, it was a bad situation. <laughs> So as anybody does when they have something that starts coming up, I went online and started doing some investigating to figure out what could be the potential causes. So all I was pretty much finding was that it could be due to stress or a change in products used. So in my situation, I didn't really have more or less stress in my life and I hadn't changed any products in terms of mascara or anything like that that I was using on my eye area. So I kind of rolled those out. However, I wasn't always the best at taking off my mascara at night. So the first thing that I did was just help to establish a better routine in taking care of my eyelashes because we needed to fix the situation. So I went out and bought some oil-free eye makeup remover. This, just one from Target and some cotton pads like these. And what I'll do is I'll hold them over my eyes for about 10 seconds or so until the makeup starts to dissolve and then start to like slowly rub away all the mascara. Next, I follow up with these, some makeup wipes that'll just help to take off all the remaining mascara and makeup from my face. Once my makeup is all off and my face is washed, I use a combination of two different products on my lashes. First is an eyelash growth serum. So I knew that I needed to grow back the lashes that were missing. I looked into a ton of different lash growth serums to see what was out there. They're available in stores like Ulta and Sephora. You can purchase them online. Um, you can get prescriptions for them if you're real serious. So I ended up going with this one, um, which is by a brand called Essie, and I'll link that below in the description bar. And the reason that I picked this one is because it had a lot of great reviews on Amazon always important when purchasing things online. And because it said it was an irritation-free formula. I figured with the state of my sad little baby lashes that I should be as gentle on them as possible and not add any other potential irritation. So the serum has a little brush like this, which you just brush along the base of your eyelashes. And it does say that you can use it on your brows as well. Um, I don't, but it's nice that there is an option for that. So the second product that I've been using is castor oil. I got this one on Amazon. It says that it's certified organic, which I'm not really sure, I guess, if it makes a difference. Probably just picked this one because it was the top rated. Anyway, it comes in a little kit um, that has a brush that's similar to the eyelash serum one, and then it also comes with a little mascara wand as well. And so I'm going to try to demonstrate the best way to use this without spilling it. So the best way that I've found to use this is just to unscrew the top. And then if you take your little clean mascara wand like this and roll it along this glass dropper that it comes with, you'll pick up enough product to get on your lashes. Not so much that it's like full of oil and then your eyelashes are just like dripping. Anyway, once you're done, you have some on your brush. You just put it on basically like mascara. I do top and bottom of my lashes, so it's super easy. Once you're done, if you do have too much product on there, like sometimes I'll have a little extra droplets of oil where I can see it, just go like this and blink through your fingers real quick and it'll just pick up all that extra product. So I go to sleep like that and then in the morning I just apply my makeup right on top of those. Um, I don't actually take them off in the morning and I'm not sure, it doesn't seem to make a difference, like it's not bad I guess. So, so I've been using these two products for about six months or so now and I have noticed an insane difference. Honestly, I was noticing an improvement probably after the first two weeks, I'd say. I took some before photos from when I had first started. But the side-by-side -side photos honestly just, just trips me out because they are so different. It doesn't even look like the same set of eyelashes. Like that was in a sad, sad state. And let's never go back there again. Like I said, I'll link everything that I talked about below in the description box. And then if you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You know I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Are you even on YouTube if you don't start your videos with, hey guys, and then end it with a kiss? Probably not. Like everyone else, I think that's just the law when you're on YouTube, you know, everybody has this cute little like, hey guys, that's the only thing that you can say as an intro, and I hate it because it seems really fake and weird. So, I'm not doing it.
what else can I say other than hey guys? What up, bitches? That's not very professional, so I'm worried about, I probably can't do that. Um, aloha. Welcome back to my channel. We are from Minnesota. We don't even say aloha. <laughs> God. 